Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do um, an Inkscape knockout name tutorial. Um, this is for an alternative to those who can't get the SCAL or do not have the SCAL software. Um, there is a tutorial for Inkscape that's a little bit more detailed. This one I think is a little bit easier. Um, I hope it helps you. It's helped me a lot. So we're going to get started. Make sure your Inkscape is open. We're going to click on the text tool. And yes, I'm going to leave the background page open um, because I just think it's easier to transfer over into Cricut if you go ahead and do it at this size anyway. Um, I've already got the I Love Glitter font ready. Um, if you don't want to use that font, use whatever you want to do. Um, type in your names that you're going to be using. Okay, and then we're going to go up to the arrow up here to size it. Hit Control, Shift, and then pull it out. I think I can make it a little bit bigger. That'll keep everything. Um, it won't make make it any. It won't stretch it. It'll just um, make it bigger. All right. So now for this, we're going to go up to Path. Click on Object to Path, go up to Object, and we're going to go down to Ungroup. We're going to go back to Path, and we're going to go to Union. Next thing is Path. We're going to go down to Linked Offset, and you'll notice a diamond up here. That's where you get, um, that's where it's linked at right there. I would suggest changing to a different color, one that you'll be able to see. You're going to go back up to the diamond, hit shift, and then grab that diamond and just move it out as far or as little as you want it, just so that you can um, see what the offset is that you like, that you prefer, because it's all personal preference, right? Um, once you're happy with that, go up to path. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the first name, object to path, object, go down to ungroup, go back up to path, and to union, and you will be able to see down here at the bottom it says path, 260, 267 nodes, you'll see all the nodes in there, and if you want to check it, the black is 212 nodes, so as long as there's numbers down there, you've done it correctly. We're going to go up to File if everything is the way that you want it, and we're going to go Save As. And I'm going to just give it a generic name. Instead of an Inkscape SVG, we're going to save it as the plain SVG. All right, and then just pull in Cricut. You're going to go to Upload. And you see I've already done it. <laughs> um, and then we're going to pull up our image, whatever we saved it as. And there it is right there. All right, this is the one I just did. Insert images. And there it is. You see it's all together, and that's fine for right now. We're going to go to text um, and type in, whoops. Uh, type in our last name that we're needing to use. I'm doing the Times New Roman font. And I also have mine bolded. All right. I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to stretch it a little bit. I'll lock it back. And I will do the letter space to an extent. I still like mine a little bit. Um, more see it's getting tighter on this end but this end not so much so I'm going to go up to advanced and ungroup to letters and then I'm just going to move them a little bit manually and that's fine um, if you don't want to do this that's perfectly fine too um, whatever you prefer so 
just give me just a second. A lot of people think that this this way is a little bit tedious, and it, it may be, but it's the way I like to do it. Um, and once you have it all together the way you want it, just select it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just weld that back together. All right. Now you're going to take this that we made, we brought over from Inkscape, and you're going to go ahead and try and um, figure out where you want it to go. So I'm going to go ahead and move that to the back so that this will be up in the front. And I don't want it up in the center. I kind of want it down a little bit. I think I'm going to... Make it a little bit. I like that heart in the middle right there. And if you want to, um, <clears throat> if you do want to um, uh, center it, you can do that as well. But um, I don't know. I kind of, I don't know if I want to center it. I might kind of want to, kind of want the L to have that heart in the middle since there's six, seven letters in the last name. But while that is together, I'm going to go ahead and click ungroup while those two are selected. I'm just going to click on the black one and I'm just going to bump it down with the arrow. I'm not going to use my mouse or anything like that. Whoops. <laughs> You're going to select both of those two and do slice. New slice result, shift, slice result, shift, slice result, and delete that. Click on the original. And voila, there you go. You have your knockout, and then you can add your established date to the bottom, however you want to do it, and that's it. And to me, that was a lot easier than doing the bleed method or having to save and make sure everything's all oh let me see if I can get it positioned just right and making it fit and that way you can just I just think this is so much easier <laughs> anyway I hope it helps somebody I know it's helped me and I love making these so um, good luck and can't wait to see what you guys do um, happy cricketing. Bye.